Hello there ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another video. I don't normally make these kind of videos because I don't like drama and this isn't because it's I'm trying to create drama this is a kind of a big serious thing. Um, the new there is a new pet called Dotty which you are able to buy. Um, Blizzard like to do uh, charity events where they sell a pet or a mount or something uh, cosmetic and they give the money to charity uh, which is great it's a great thing um, this year it is dotty as you can see uh, to my to my right to my left but anyway um, uh, it is an alpaca um, which is cool it's, it's a cool little pet I've got nothing wrong with it I'm not a pet collector personally it would have been better if it's a mount but it isn't unfortunately um, and this is a pet that's going to be supporting um, Make-A-Wish Foundation and WE. Um, and we're going to read through the post that Blizzard have announced for it. So let me just switch uh, screens and we can take a look at that. So this is the pet and this is the page that you'll see. Um, just to let you guys know, if you didn't know, I am using the beta of the World of Warcraft and Blizzard app launcher. Um, something which, if you would like to see how to do that, please Google it or um, I will show you another video. Um, but this is the news article that Blizzard released. Um, it says, adopt Dotty and support Make-A-Wish Foundation and WE. Uh, this was released today. Um, so let's take a look at it. Meet Dotty, the adorable baby alpaca. When you adopt her in game, you'll be helping a Make-A-Wish Foundation and WE charities, uh, which aid children in need. When you purchase the in-game pet by December the 31st, uh, 2019, in the, Blizz in the Blizzard shop or in-game shop, we will donate 100% of the purchase price to be shared equally with Make-A-Wish and WE, which is great. That's so far so good. Um... Dotty is ready to leave Voldoon and bound happily along, uh, alongside you, exploring new frontiers, and uh, you may find yourself humming songs with her along. I haven't got it. I don't know what that means, but that sounds quite fun. Now, uh, this is a little bit of information about the charities, which I'm not going to read through, but if please, please pause the video and take a look, because they're really, really interesting. Um, this is where it gets a little bit annoying for me, and it has frustrated me a little bit, because... If you guys, uh, you guys must have, if you ha if you miss the kind of um, massive thing about BlizzCon um, and the uh, the competitive kind of uh, prize pools, you will have seen that last year or sometime this year they released uh, two toys in the store which you could buy, and part of that money would go towards you funding the competitive prize pool, which is great. I think if we want to watch it, we should pay towards the the winnings. I think that's perfectly fine. The controversy was that Blizzard pulled out their what they were going to put in as prize money. Um, and that's fine. Um, it didn't really bother me that much. I'm not really into the competitive side of things. didn't watch it. Um, and to me personally, obviously it will annoy a lot of people and the actual people who comp competed in it, that's fine. But there is a, there is a line drawn. And that line drawn is when it comes to donating to charities. There are other games that I play which I've donated to, whether that's helping children, whether that's about uh, breast cancer, cancer in itself, all things like that. Um, and that's fine. I like doing it. I will, even though I don't like pets, I will probably buy this pet because of that reason. This is where it gets annoying. You've got to read the small print. Anything, guys. You need to read the small print because that is where they fuck charities over they're a company um pet is not available in world of warcraft classic that's fine um dotty will remain for adoption in the blizzard shop or from the in-game shop after the charitable donation period ends on the december the 31st 2019 so before we read the next bit what that means is you can still buy the pet after december the 31st but blizzard aren't going to donate any more money to it so you can I think it's like uh, $12, if I remember correctly. Uh, something it's, it's probably about $12 um, or, or $15. Uh, I, I don't know the dollar uh, conversion, but you can still buy it. But after the December the 31st, all that money will go to Blizzard. So if we work that out, that gives us 27 days of to make this to make this money. 
which is great. I think if everybody buys it in the first 27 days, 27 days is nearly a month. It gives people a month to buy it. If they're going to buy it, it's probably going to be in within that month. Um, so they should make a lot of money. However, this is where the next bit of small print comes along. Donation amount for in-game charge... Uh, in Donation amount for in-game pet excludes chargebacks, refunds, and value added for taxes. That's fine. That's practically with anything that you do with anything charitable. Or other similar tax paid. This is where it really annoys me. With the maximum donation amount of USD $3 million from all sales of the Dotty in-game pet for charity. So what that means is once they've made three million dollars which is a hell of a lot of money do not don't get me wrong that is a lot of money for charity but once they've made that three million dollars any other profits that they make or any other money not even just profits is it profits or is it just all donations um let's just quickly have a look uh 100 of the purchase price will go so it's not profit 100 of your money will go to charity but if once they hit that three million dollar mark, that's it. That's all they're going to give. The rest of that money will go to Blizzard as a company. Now I find that appalling. This stuff they did in the competitive prize pool, and now they're bringing it to charities. Now I'm not saying boycott this entire pet. I think that'd be disgusting if I was to say that. And it is a pretty cool pet. It's an alpaca. I mean, it's cool. And I, like I say, I will buy it. But I had to make this video because it's really, really annoyed me that companies, not just like Blizzard, not just Biz Blizzard, but lots of companies, are having a limit on how much they are going to donate. I think if they are going to create something for a charity event like this alpaca, I think from now till the end of time, until they remove it, every single penny of that donation should go towards the charity. And I know, I know, because I had this conversation with people in Discord the other day, but what about the people who created it? First things, first things first, it's a pet that probably uses a, the same animation or model as another pet. So that's the first thing. Yes, people have put time into making it. But if you go for a run and and uh, gather $400 worth of donations, you don't take a part of that donation because you've done it. You don't take that money because you've spent your time doing it. The reason you spent your time doing that is because... It's because you wanted to raise money for charity. It, it blows my mind... The, how stupid these companies think we are. And people, they put it in small print. And people are like, oh yeah, yeah, I'm going to buy this. So in January, when you buy this pet, you're, you're giving money to Blizzard. So if you're going to buy it, if, you, if you're going to buy this pet, please buy it now. Sooner rather than later. Or your donation money won't get to those... Your, your, the money that you spend on it will not be a donation. You'll just be putting more money in Blizzard's pockets. This is the kind of shit that really pisses me off. And I like Blizzard as a company. I think they're pretty good. Yes, okay, there's been controversy over the last couple of months. Yes, there's been Hong Kong stuff. Yes, there's been uh, competitive. Yes, there's been everything. Do you know what I mean? Transactions. We already pay $15 a month to, to keep their company up. Yes, okay. There's a lot and the game works. And I'm grateful for that. And that's the reason why I don't mind paying it is because the game works. But when it comes to charities, what the fuck are you doing, Blizzard? Please, I mean, nobody from Blizzard is watching these videos. I, un I understand that. But for my small community who are watching these videos and liking them and whatever, I appreciate that. But if you're going to buy something like this, buy it when the donations come and then don't buy it afterwards. Blizzard, if you're going to make something for charity, keep it for charity. $3 million is a lot of money, don't get me wrong. But if you if you kept this on for forever like you've said it's going to be in the in the th in the store then it's going to make more than three million dollars i hate making videos like this but this is the kind of shit that makes me not want to play games like this and really makes me hate companies like this 
who they make themselves look good because they're going to give money to people, which is great. And $3 million, I can't stress enough, is a lot of money. But they're going to give $3 million out of a multi-million uh, dollar company. I mean, nearly a billion dollars they made, didn't they, last year? Something along those lines. $3 million to charity. And they make themselves look great. But after December, fuck it. The, the, we're going to make some money off this. And I'm telling you now, I don't know if anybody can find this anywhere. But once this event's over for this charity, I bet you anything, they will make more than $3 million off that pet than what they donate. It wouldn't surprise me if even alone today they've nearly made $3 million. And the rest of, uh, from here to the 20, uh, from, to the 31st, they'll be making profit. I'm not saying don't buy it. But just be wary. Just be wary companies like this.